Otila Simeon is here. I'm going to show you today how to create or customize a Facebook pixel for your product, offer, whatever you are promoting, actually for your website page you are promoting, for your landing page, opt-in page, uh, Shopify store, whatever it is, okay? Let's get started. This is my uh, profile account. The simplest way, if you don't have a Facebook ads manager, is uh, by using your profile account. In um, Later, in, um, in a new video, I will explain you how to create a Facebook business account. By, but uh, by now, we will start with our profile page. What All what you have to do is to click on the small arrow, go here and create your uh, manager ads account. In my case, I have already one. I will go and click on manage ads on this little small uh, field here. Okay. And um, as you can see, uh, it took me in my Facebook ads account. Okay. Let's click here. When you click here, you have the menu of your Facebook ads and you have the ads manager power editor, page posts, and pixels. What we are interested in are pixels. You have two ways to open your pixels, uh, you know, field or account. I can click on all tools and it takes me in a, in a small window where I can find my audience insights, my ads manager my power editor ads reporting this is very important and pixels let's click or he here or here is the same it will take me to the same page okay let's click on pixels how you can find your pixel i have three pixels page view view content and lead pixel as you can see this uh, lead pixel i've just uh, created with the new my new campaign here but if you are new what you have to do is click on action and click on view pixel code you will find here your basic pixel code is this copy the entire pixel base code and paste it in the website header but before uh, to paste in my website header i will show you how you can customize your own depending on what you are promoting okay i will click on this and it shows like a copy on of a clip clipboard sorry i will take a notepad paste here my Facebook pixel code. I will make for you bigger because I want you to understand what I do here. Okay. Then I will close this window because I want to simplify things for you and make as simple as possible. Of course, from here you can... Um, um, edit pixel uh, actually no i do not recommend to edit your pixel because you have only one pixel and it's yours related to one ad manager account okay a setup pixel this is a in a way advanced i do not want uh, you to use if you are a newbie this field but you can create conversion pixel okay and uh, what I, what you have to do here, you can click on this, on the first part I showed you. Okay, I will close again. Create conversion. You have two ways to uh, you can do track conversions with standard events and. Um, track custom conversions okay 
If I click here, I have three options, view content, search and add to chart. Okay. If you, let's say you have a Shopify store, what you have to do is to copy exactly all this script. Right click, copy. Go into your Facebook pixel. Here is your basic Facebook pixel. Okay. And when you see what is inside, check for this, for this row insert your pixel id here and you have here facebook track page view put your arrow here after the last character and click here see right here and enter to create a space then paste your little script here but pay attention, the script should be as it was down there. What you have to do is to introduce this script here. I want to make the same uh, size, okay? Now, this is my script, my new script. I will um, make for you more visible. You can see I added to my Facebook pixel code track add to chart and now you will be you will take this all this script okay this one copy and go in your page in your um, in your uh, shopify store or where you want to insert this script but pay attention you what you where you where you have to insert this pixel code you want to insert this fixed pixel code in the header what means that you will find in your store in your shopify store um a place a specific place where you have to go and uh, do this when you go in set up pixel and go here Click on this box, Shopify. You will find here all the information where you have to place your pixel code. It, it will show you in a little uh, video where you can go and uh, place your pixel. It's very easy, okay? It's as easy as you can see here. Click here, go here and do this, okay? Very easy. Let's say now I will take out this Shopify, you know, tracking ad chart. And what I want to show you, for example, I'm going for, as you can see here, I, cho I have chosen event, yes, because I want to track an event. I click on that, okay, it shows up select the event lead event because why i want uh, to give uh, away a free ebook and i want to know how many people um, to track actually the people who downloaded my book to create a custom audience or a lookalike audience after they uh, downloaded my uh, after those customers to to say like that to build a profile of these people who downloaded my uh, actually my free ebook and um, I choose a category and I want to choose lead okay and go next name and I want to to name this lead pixel i want to uh, i don't uh, i don't do that because i have already as uh, you have seen below i ha i have already a lead pixel and uh, i don't want to do that okay you can create 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 this 
and um, you will have uh, your uh, you you will be able to see here your uh, pixel how you will find out if this is active you don't have to do anything further after you created that see more and what i have to do i want to use this script lead okay but you can also as i do i did to set up to create uh, the same event and track view content search add to chart add to wish list uh, purchase lead in my case i'm looking for leads i will take this script copy go in my notepad and here after the last character of facebook track page view i will insert this script see and again i want to make sure i don't i don't modify my facebook pixel the this row was here where is written script i want to make sure this is the same size okay and as you can see i have the tracking lead script here i will take this facebook pixel code okay copy and um, go in my click funnels account okay sign into my account I'm going to use this page from our funnel. This is my funnel. Okay. I'm, I'm going to edit page. I go here in settings and tracking codes. And I can insert here my Facebook pixel. Okay. I will insert here paste I have already one I don't to want to add one more after but you click here and uh, paste your pixel code and then save okay and it's ready to go very easy okay and exit this is it if you have uh, this um, page let's say this one okay this is a uh, one uh, of my pages okay let me show you another another uh, landing page creator different from click funnels i'm using i will go in my uh, account in few seconds i hope my internet will be better okay i have optimized press okay here but what i'm going to do the internet is to okay i'm going in uh, my pages I'm going in edit this is uh, optimized press landing p uh, page creator and um, I go in uh, let's see if it's here now just a second just page settings I think so other scripts for example you can check if you have a different landing page creator uh, it's not a problem you can uh, check where is the scripts field okay and here for example it allows me to add new and I want to check header and paste my script here insert see this is lead the lead see 
my lead uh, tracking and update this is it say this is my uh, actually my uh, landing the second uh, landing page creator I have but if you have one different uh, from mine uh, you can go and find where are the scripts where is the place for scripts to place your scripts and uh, check click don't be afraid to click and find out where uh, where you can uh, where you are able to, to place your scripts or your Facebook pixel code. It is very important because after that you can create a retargeting campaign or remarketing campaign and track people who actually subscribe to your page or bought from your store and so on. And this is all about Facebook pixel for now. And... Um, let me know if I can uh, show you more and um, if you didn't understand something. But uh, here you can find more advanced, uh, you know, um, you have an advanced uh, match matching here. You can click on that and go next and uh, do more uh, advanced, uh, you know, actions to say like that, okay? in each field check what is here and uh, because you are in the facebook uh, pixel uh, uh, you know window uh, check how you can create audience you know uh, website traffic anyone who visit your website you can uh, choose people who visit specific web pages if you sell something you know like uh, um, let's say a ring jewelry a specific ring you know and uh, you want to you can choose this and create from here your uh, custom uh, facebook pixel okay and name your audience you can uh, write here ring you know ring uh, i don't know the name uh, let's say gold ring and so on you can create so many things inside but check only check what is here check all the fields click and read see more click and read you have all the indication learn about conversion conversion tracking read what click on this link and read okay to learn more click on the second field click here and see what is inside okay go to setup as I said, check all these fields and learn about pixel pixel uh, about, about sorry about the pixel code. Okay, you have all the information here and uh, check it out. All the time you want to improve what you are doing and learn more. But by now I was thinking to start with the first step, the first uh, step you need to to create your uh, and the simplest the simplest way. Uh, to create a Facebook pixel as I showed you okay talk soon and let me know in the comments if uh, you like my video and my training and please comment and let me know what do you think about bye now